if we were to refer to biblical scripture and sports analogies, today's Sunday's reading would be a World Series moment or a Super Bowl moment, depending on your favorite sport, when it comes to the law of God. This is one of my favorite passages in all of scripture. It's from Matthew chapter 22. A lawyer questions Jesus with the intent to set a trap. And again, Jesus settles the question. The lawyer asks, teacher, which commandment of the law is the greatest? And Jesus says, almost there's an immediate response. Jesus said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with your whole soul, and with all your mind. It's the greatest in the first commandment. And the second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. These two commandments, the whole of the law is based in the prophets and everything else. Jesus not only gives a response with one of the greatest commandments, but follows up with the second greatest commandment. It is about love. Bottom line, the greatest commandment is about love. Love, not so much in that feeling, but a willingness to, to act, to be, and to dwell in this relationship with God that is rooted in fidelity to love, faithfulness to love. Love with all your heart, love with all your soul, and love with all your mind, your whole being. For Christ, the law of love is a unified whole. It's a, it's a relationship of right relationship, of covenant love. It's a form of self-love that is nurturing and giving. Everything else is built upon that in the Christian life of discipleship. I often like to think of this moment, this scene that Jesus has with the lawyer as a mic drop moment. The lawyer is thinking to trap Jesus, and Jesus settles the score in a, in a way that levels the playing field to everyone. It's all about love. So this week, which I think this week we are in the World Series from a sports analogy, let us pay attention to that World Series of love that we are invited to play every day. And pay attention to how we love one another, how we love ourselves, how we seek to live and be in wholeness, in our mind, heart, and soul, and how do we dwell with God in the midst of it all? Where do we need to seek healing in the broken places of our love? And where are we called to be giving and serving of others with this love that is unconditional and the basis of all love for and with God? Because that is the greatest commandment. The greatest commandment is to love with our whole being, one another, ourselves, and in this, this relationship with the God of love that we walk in faith. Amen.